by the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This has been a round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, welcome, welcome back for the second show of today, the second episode of Quick Hits. Give me one second. I just want to turn this light on. There you go. Uh, back for the second show today. Um, we did the earlier show on Josh Warrington. We're going to do another one, similar show on a breakdown of another fighter who's fighting for a world title for the second time, Joe Smith Jr., the beast from the east from Long Island, New York. Um, we're going to get into um, everything with Joe Smith Jr. But p- first, please like and subscribe, share um, with a friend, share on all forms of social media, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, we're doing two shows today, so I'm uploading content twice a day. We're doing two quick hits a day. I'll give you two small shows each day. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, if that's something that you want, that the amount of content that you want, please like and subscribe and please tell a friend. Um, but today's, this episode, the second episode of today, the first one was about Josh Warrington. The second one is all about Joe Smith Jr., uh, the beast from the East. Um, we're going to get right into it. So Joe Smith has come a long way in a short time. Um, he got, you know, he had terrific wins back a number of years ago over Von Fora, and then he retired Bernard Hopkins. He fought Sullivan Barrera and got destroyed. Uh, but even in that fight, when he get to his losses, he took a loss early in his career in Long Island in a small card. Then he took um, a loss against Barrera, which we'll get into, and um, a loss against Bavall about two years ago. We're going to get into both of those. Um, he's come a long way in a real short time. Um. Go back to
He doesn't. He doesn't have a ton of power. He's not quick in there. He's not. He doesn't have quick reflexes. He's not super fast with the hands or with the feet. Um, I, I just don't see how he has much for for Joe Smith Jr. Especially given how improved Joe Smith Jr. is. If there was an award in boxing for most improved fighter, Joe Smith Jr. is maybe that guy, right? Like, he, I mean, he went from a guy. I've always been a fan of Joe Smith Jr. But I was a fan of him, like, he's a fun guy to watch, but he's never really going to be a world champion, right? Like, he's not even close to a world champion. He'll get outclassed by another champion. Now he's going to win. And then the question is, well, how far can he go, right? The other big names in, in, in that division is, well, Ramirez is in that division. Can he beat Galicia Ramirez? Maybe. Probably could. Um, better beef. Can he be better beef? Boy, that would be fun to watch. But that's where Joe Smith is now. Watch. Watch what I'm talking about. Watch how he uses his jab to physically get on the inside and beat you up on the inside, or he can nail you with the right hand from the distance and in the mid range, right? Like his his jab is is because he's so physically strong, brings him on into the inside, and there's nothing you can do about it as long as he keeps his hand going, and as long as it's not like Bavol, where he's just so much slower, right? Uh, Smith was so much slower than Bavol that he couldn't compensate for the difference in hand speed, even with the great timing and the great work. Um, if the guy doesn't have that kind of athleticism like Bavol. You're going to have a lot of problem with Joe Smith Jr. And Vlasov doesn't have that kind of athleticism that Bavol has. So this is going to be a this is going to be a beatdown. And I think Joe Smith Jr. wins around by stoppage by around by about round eight or nine. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please remember to like, skip, share, and subscribe. Um, Two shows a day. It's called Quick Hits, 3D Boxing Podcast. We're doing two shows a day. Tomorrow is my day. I have to take one, one day off a week. It will be tomorrow. Uh, so we'll be back on Thursday with two more shows. Um, it is now technically February 10th, 2021. Uh, Iron Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get the Iron Boy into the Boxing Hall of Fame, Class 2021, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.